It was pretty intense. It almost feels like you're kicked by a mule, though. That's the way I describe it. Just, it's just harsh. Right out there, just going out and making a right-hand turn. Look down, and there he was. Nearly two weeks ago, Scott Gildard was on his way home from work when he saw a black spider bite him on the knee. Initially, the pain was bearable. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was like, just like a pin or a needle. But days later, it became much, much worse. I'm waking up in the middle of the night, and my blankets and the bed is just wet, you know, and I'm going, what the heck's going on here? And the, and the muscle spasms, I could turn like this and just freeze up, and it would just sit there and hurt. Gildard went to the hospital, where he later realized he'd been bitten by a black widow. While he's in recovery now, the pain is still intense. I still got the cramps, the muscle spasms, and I just can't jump out on this. I, gotta, I, I can't put any pressure on my left leg yet. According to pest control companies we spoke with, the West Coast is a hub for black widows. They're most active in the summer and fall, but they're usually not aggressive. Generally, a black widow will not bite you unless you come across it accidentally or if you're antagonizing it. Jim Clark, a pest controller in Grants Pass, sees them everywhere this time of year. Again, this is a typical fence. You can see the spider webs all along the area through here. Typically though, he says black widows are found in dark, quiet areas. Of course, the best way to get rid of them is to kill them, or you can find other ways to mitigate the chance you stumble across one. What's around your structure? Can I move a wood pile away from the home? Can I remove tall grasses? It's too late for Gilder. He's still feeling the awful effects of the spider bite, but he hopes by sharing his story, you'll know what to look out for. It's so intense to deal with something like that. Just go straight to the hospital, you know? Uh, that's the best way to take care of it. In Grants Pass, Miles Luigi, NBC5 News.